Hello everyone, I'm Nine First Morning Meteorologist Sherry Hughes. Thank you for logging on to WCPL.com. Well, we've got by, gotten by today with uh, not a lot in the way of rain showers to at least start the day, and that's primarily because this area of low pressure that we've been tracking really has been keeping a zonal flow across the state of Tennessee, and eventually it's going to start making more of a curve to the northeast. Because it has stayed so low, our rain chances uh, really have been very low during the first part of the day. But I do think as we go through the overnight, we'll have an opportunity to see some more showers. I think our chances are just barely isolated through much of the evening, but by about 10 or 11, certainly midnight, we'll start to pick up on more rain showers ap approaching the area or developing the area. And we could also see some isolated thunderstorms because our temperatures are just so very warm, but we're not anticipating any severe weather. So tonight we're going to go with a low of 49 degrees, scattered rain, few rumbles of thunder out there. The greatest threat with any of those garden variety storms will be a little bit of gusty winds that develop should we see a storm. Now, as I'm running this latest model run on our future satellite and radar, really doesn't want to bring much our way. It keeps it really to the south of us, but keep in mind a 50 uh, mile north track could change the uh, amount of rainfall that we get or when we start to see the rain moving into the area. By the early morning hours, this run wants to keep much of the shower activity still east of Cincinnati here. But again, we've got to give a little bit of a leeway for some of this actually being more over the city of Cincinnati. I think our western communities and the areas to the north will see the very least of the rainfall that we get. During the day tomorrow, that rain will be decreasing to just spotty up until about maybe 10 or 11. And then we'll start seeing a drier day for your Tuesday. So for Monday, we'll give it a high of 50 degrees. That rain chances early, then become spotty later. Winds will be out of the northeast 10 to 20 mile an hour. So it will be a breezy uh, to windy day across the area tomorrow as well. Tuesday, temperatures will fall off. We're in the upper 40s there. That's cooler, but still about maybe 10 to 11 degrees above our normal temperatures. 54 on Wednesday. We'll see some sun, some clouds, and we'll also have a chance for a few showers during the afternoon. Anything behind that will give us moisture enough. And as those temperatures are falling towards the end of the week, we could be seeing some flurries uh, with much cooler temperatures in the 30s by the end of the week.